Part of the mission that we take on is to go out of our comfort zone, to go and to be on mission as managers of God's abundant grace. And the way I like to think of this is just think of a manager in a store, right? Any store, whatever your favorite store is, just think of that management role, that management responsibility. They don't necessarily own the store, right? They don't own everything that is in there. Not, not every manager owns the store or the contents of the store, but they certainly are familiar with the contents. They're familiar with what is in that store. They know which direction to point people when they're in need. They know when there is a problem to arise, where to go, what to do, how to handle it. They know how to help other people find what it is they're looking for. And as managers of God's multifaceted grace, that is what we as the church, as Christians are to go and to do as well. We are to go through life as people who are familiar and continually being familiar with God's grace doing whatever it takes when there's a problem, when we see someone in need to help point them towards God's grace and to help others find what it is that God offers to them, what they can receive. We're to go into the world, we're to go everywhere, our everyday lives, our jobs, the store, our homes, you name it. And we're to proclaim the goodness of God in a world that is broken and to people that are often hurting. We're to shine light in the dark places of the world and the dark places of people's lives. We're to share love where there is so much hate and so much animosity. We're to extend this message of hope in a world and in people's lives where all it appears is hopelessness is presenting itself before them. We're to extend mercy and we're to extend forgiveness where it is not deserved. And we're to extend love and grace where it is not earned and sometimes when it doesn't make sense. And this mission that we are called to, this mission that we're sent on, it's not one that we can do on our own. It's not dependent on our skills, talents, and abilities of what we have come to learn. It's not up to our own strength. As Peter reminds us, the only way that we as Christians, as the church can accomplish this mission, the only way we can go about this calling, the only way that we can be this kind of people is by relying on the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit, which is a gift that has been given to everyone who accepts Christ and everyone who makes up the church. And it's this gift that we all have that empowers us to manage the grace, the grace that we have been given, the grace that we have received. And so the question I want to leave you with is this, how well are you managing the grace of God to people outside the church walls? We could even change it, how well are you managing the grace of God to people in general, in your homes, at work, in the community, outside the church walls? Because you see, this is an important role. It's something that we're commanded to. When we become followers of Christ, we're promoted, y'all. We're promoted to management. And as managers, it becomes our responsibility to go and be good managers, good stewards of the grace that has been given to us through Jesus Christ. Above all else, loving others fervently, serving one another joyfully and relying on the gift of the Holy Spirit to extend grace to those around us in everything that we say and everything that we do. Amen? And so friends, maybe you're here today and you have experienced this grace. This grace has washed over you. You understand it. You've received this gift, but you've just strayed. You've wandered, you've set it down, you've opened up the gift and just kind of put it aside and and remembered it. Not very often. And maybe you're wondering, hey, is this management title still mine? Like, do I still have a position in the grace department? Well, let me assure you that you do, because that's what grace is. That's what grace does. When you have received that gift, when you have accepted that gift, you take on that manager title, you're in that management position and you can return to it anytime. And maybe you're here today and you're just kind of wondering what what it would be like to experience this gift, to receive this gift, to have this kind of grace this blessing, this goodness, this favor, this worth, this value poured out into your life, let alone manage that for the people around us. Maybe you feel like you've, you've come here or you've come somewhere, watched and you've observed long enough, long enough to know 
that what this gift is that God offers to us in Jesus, this gift of grace, this gift of the Holy Spirit, this gift of salvation, that it is actually worth responding to. Maybe you're ready to receive that gift today and get that promotion and become a manager so that you can not only receive, but also manage God's multifaceted grace to a world that needs it most. If so, let me assure you that that grace that God offers, has offered, is available to you today. It's not because you've learned about it. It's not because you have a better understanding of it. It's not because of anything that you have done to earn it. This grace that is offered to you through Jesus Christ is yours because of the gracious and generous love of God that has been made evident to us and revealed to us through Jesus Christ and the redemptive work that Christ offered to us and did for us on the cross. All we have to do is accept that position. All we have to do is accept the mercy and the grace and the love that's been offered to us in Christ and then place our faith and our trust in him and in him alone. And then in that moment, that very moment, God's grace washes all over you. It's already been with you, but you feel God's grace cover you. And you take on this management status because of this gift that you have received. And it's a gift that will change your life forever. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. My name's Andy and I have the privilege of overseeing our online campus. If we've not had the chance to meet yet, I'd love to chat and hear some of your story and get to know you better. Just click the link in the video description if, and I'll be in touch this week. Additionally, if you need prayer for something, we have a team of people who would love to pray with you. Momentum is building, lives are being impacted, and I can't wait to see what God does next in and through us all. Are you ready? Let's go.